Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how to create icons using Figma. So the first thing we are going to look at is the setup that we need to have correctly before we start creating our icons. So the first thing we need to do is to zoom in perfectly. Now I'll come here and I'll type in 1600, then I'll hit the enter key on my keyboard. The next thing to do after this is to have our icon frame. Now I would come here, I would select the frame tool and I would have a frame here. Then come here and type in 24 here for the width and 24 for the height. So we are going to have our icon inside a 24 by 24 frame. Now after having this frame, I would come here and I would add a layout grid to our frame. So I would click on the plus sign in front of layout grid to have this. Then come here, click on the layout grid settings and I would have the size set to just like that. Then come here, increase the opacity of the grid color to let's say 35% to have this. Then I would close this. So with this, we are ready to start designing our icons. So the first icon I would have here is going to be a user icon. So I would come here, I would, I would select the pen tool here and I would count three boxes from the left. So I would say one, two, three. I would click there to create a vector point. Then I would stop here where I would have three boxes to the right. Then I would stop there. So after this, I would press the escape key on my keyboard so that my mouse does not stick to the pen selection. Then I would come here under stroke. I would change this start point to square just like this and the end point will update itself to square also now the next thing i'll do is to come here i'll click on this bend tool then grab the center of this line upwards to this point then i'll stop there then come back here and select the pen tool and i'll click on this point come here and close it here just like this and i have this so I would come here, I would click on done and go over to our shape tools and select the ellipse tool. Then come here in our frame to create an ellipse shape just like this. I would keep this like this. Now make sure the value of the width is equal to the value of the height so that you can have a consistent ellipse there. So the next thing I'll do while the ellipse shape is selected, I'll come here and I'll add a stroke color to it like this. Then go here and take out the fill color just like that. And what we have here is a user icon. So I'll bring this downwards and then go into vector selection mode, select the bend tool and take this up further just like this. And I'll click on done to have this. So the next thing I'll do is I'll select these two elements and I'll group them. Then come here and align the group to the center horizontally. And after that, I'll come here to align the group to the center vertically, just like this. And that's that, we have our user icon created. So the next thing I'll do is to come here, I'll rename this frame to user. Then come here and make the layout grid invisible and also make the fill color for the layout invisible to have this. And this is our icon here. So I would create another icon by having a frame here and I would make this 24 by 24. Then I'll bring this here. The next thing to do is to add a layout grid. And after that, I would start creating an icon. So I would come here, I would select the pen tool. Then I would count three boxes from the top. One, two, three. And three boxes from the left. One, two, three. So I would start here. I would create a point there, then come here and stop at the point where I would have three boxes to the right. I would stop there. Then come down here. I would count four boxes downwards, then close this in like this, then close this in like this. The next thing I'll do is to come here, click on this point, then stop here. And we have a mail icon. So what I'm going to do at this stage is I'll make these edges to have that little curve effect. So to do that, I'll come here and I'll select the move tool, then select this vector point, hold down my shift key, select this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now we have five vector points selected. Then I'll come here, 
I would click on advanced stroke settings. Then when this box comes out, I would come here. You can see where my mouse is at and I would click on this round property here. And you can see that that round effect is applied to all those points. So I would come here and click on done and we have our mail icon. So I would keep it selected and align it to the center horizontally and vertically, just like this. Then I would select the frame, come here, make this invisible and make this invisible. And here we have a mail icon. Now in this video, I would show you how to create field icons. Before we do that, I would come here, I would rename this to mail, then select our frame to create a frame here and make it 24 by 24 just like this then i would add the grid settings there and i would have this ellipse shape created inside this frame now i would have this ellipse shape stay here where we have three boxes to the left and three boxes to the right then we are going to have three boxes upwards and three boxes downwards one two three so this is perfect now the next thing i'll do is i'll take out the fill color and i'll add a stroke color to it to look like this now I would come here, I would select the pen tool, then come here and create a straight line just like this. Now the next thing I'll do is to go over to our stroke settings for the straight line and I'll change this from square to round. Now I would come here, I would click on done. And when I click on done, you would see that our straight line is still selected. So I'll come here inside the rotation property box and I'll take out zero degrees and I'll type in 45. Now what I'm going to do is to duplicate this straight line. So while it is selected, I would hold down my control key. If you are using a Mac, that's command. And I would press the D key on my keyboard to have that duplicated. Now you can see that we have a vector four straight line here which is a duplicate of vector 3. So while vector 4 is selected I would come here and I will type in minus 45 then press the enter key on my keyboard and I would have this. So I can come here and select this ellipse and add a fill color to the ellipse to have that fill effect there on our icon. So I can change this fill color to something like this or like this and I can come here and select this this x strokes there and i'll change the colors to something like this or something like this and finally come here inside this frame select all of these elements group them and there we have our icon so i would select the frame make the layout grid invisible and make the fill color for the frame layout invisible and this is what we have now, if you are designing a design system and you need your icons in your component library, all you have to do is keep this frame selected. Take note, keep the frame selected, not the icon inside the frame. You keep the frame selected and click on create component here. And when you do that, you have made this a component. So I can come here and rename this to close icon. And that's that. So before we call it a wrap, let's come here and let's click on these strokes that make up the X sign there. And let's reduce this to this point, to this point, select this one, reduce this to this point and reduce this to this point so that we can have this. Now this looks better.